Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you review and installation of the official Android 8.1.0 update for our Galaxy J7 2016. So, without wasting more time, let's start. First, we get the launcher from Samsung Experience 9.5. As you can see, this outlined search bar and the apps. Uh, apps are in 5 into 5, and you can maybe customize, but maybe this is a, a phone not infinite display so it will be fine to fire only for the apps then we have the home screen layout so you can also home screen only and home and app screen then we have the apps button app icon badges quick open notification panel and also the option to hide apps so you can see you can hide apps too and that will be a like making your device clean so guys as i did a clean install you can see i got shit ton of apps from microsoft google and samsung and also some unnecessary samsung apps like pre-installed mm -hmm. let's take a look at the settings and you can see the settings ui is changed you get the search bar circular and here your profile icon too so you can add your samsung account inside then you have this icons here you can see some of the icons have been changed yep um, then you have the about phone you can see here we have the galaxy json 2016 written and here is your about phone information like summary then software info you can see android 8.1.0 oreo which is android like oreo which is the sdk 27 and here you can see we have samsung screens 9.5 and the basement is the rk1 and the build number is crk3 and with November 1 secretary patch, the latest one. Well, let's take a look at the features here in terms of the settings and in the display option. Let's go. You can see outdoor mode, font screen zoom, screen mode, some same old stuff. We don't get anything new inside here. Games, lock and mask guides, same, same thing, nothing from here. But some things have changed. Like you can see, you can now change the clock style this or this or even this so let's done apply it and you can see the lock screen clock style has changed now if you want to change the clock style oh sorry we don't have a already here i was like comparing with the galaxy set now we have here also the face widgets so you can see the face widgets you can just music controller then we have this calendar and the weather also you can see weather also on the lock screen that's great and coming back you have contact information like you can enter your contact information and also you can customize the app shortcuts and here we have something about lock screen so i don't know maybe the lock screen app will be getting updated because of the new applications so yeah you can also update the lock screen app let's take a look at the camera and you can see we get the new oreo camera like prepared you have this uh, starting from the hdr we have the hdr mode the night mode panorama pro and also beauty auto this is the main auto mode and continuous shot and yeah it's stock room so everything works fine and guys that's it for the oreo update now let's take a look at the installation which is the main part now for the installation we will of course need a pc and also the odin now i'm using the latest odin so i have the link for the latest odin to my g drive you can download and maybe i will give the firmware link for g drive too so like you can view down below if it's a g drive link or any other link so let's start with the updation now now you have to place all of the files up shit like ap now after you click on that ap and select the ap file it will tell please wait and this will like not respond it's because of maybe some of the odin version or some of big file it takes to load so let it take like let it load and we will place other files too like the bootloader the cp and csc now till then just uh, power off your device and boot it into download mode so i have powered off my device after it powers off just press the volume down key the home and the power button and after it says continue just continue and you can see uh, frp log is off and smj 710 samsung official 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 everything now connect it with the pc now i am not using the official cable this is uh, something like different cable so let's connect the device 
with the PC. Okay, everything is done. Sorry for the blur effect. And here you can see it indicates the device is connected. That com eight written. So our AP file has been loaded successfully. Just load the other two files, other three files. Bootloader, the CP, and the CSC. Now go. Now we check if everything is properly loaded. And you have to start now okay here just wait if you're coming from custom roms click on this option and the erase and if not if you're from stock then no need to choose that option just click on start and you can see your device has started uh, installing the Oreo update so just wait for it to completely install So guys this is the uh, meter that green like it will indicate how is the installation process going now instead of waiting I will just keep this part like yeah just skip it or like why waste one minute more so let's skip it so guys the installation is about to complete and um, yeah so the installation has been complete you can see here it says pass that means uh, uh, firmware has been completely installed on your device so and our device has also started auto rebooting and this thing comes up first now let this thing automatically go it will like stuck on 32 or something and it will automatically go again sonic system update now that will automatically go and your device will boot into android oreo so let me show you that too so guys the installation is purely completed like all of the installing system update screen is gone and as you can see we have got the boot animation and it's booting so I will like just show you like after it boots so let's wait till it boots and guys our J7 2016 has been booted so let's uh, go through this setup and yes uh, this is how to install Android Oreo on our J7 2016 so next let's skip this part Oh, I have to agree to all okay let's skip so yeah yeah our JSON 2016 has finally received the second or a second update and it's because of Samsung's policy changings uh, on the J7 series like J series so yeah maybe we will also be able to get Pi as a ported ROM from other 7870 devices which will get the Pi update but yeah we will be not getting the one UI maybe a port from S9 or S8 and here it is Android Oreo update on RJ7 2016 installation is complete and you can like you can remove it before itself and yep that's it how to install the uh, JSON 2016 8.1.0 Oreo update and if you guys have liked this video press the like button if not press the like button all feedbacks will be in the comment section and subscribe here's the subscribe button you know, somewhere maybe I don't know and uh, bye bye nothing else I'll see you guys in the next video then bye bye